Hello everyone, Fishing with Nick here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my dog wants to be in the video. You can't be in the video, buddy. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about my portable goat setup and how it works. So, let's go. So, basically... So, basically, what... This is, is, it is a portable fence that you can move around whenever you want. This is great because I just moved. We haven't got fences built. And we have our billy goats here, which we are going to eat in about two years. And we have to have a fence for them to stay in. We have this small fence right here. But it's not the greatest and it's not big enough. And they've already eaten it all. So, what have we done? We have made another portable fence that can move around and so I'm going to talk about this fence what it comes with it comes with four you can buy as many as you want but it's a long strand of fence 400 not 400 100 yards long and you put them together to make a big a very big fence so I have a 400 yard long fence that just goes out it's white and it is electric all the way around. Time to show you it. So, as you can see, it is pretty good. It is an electric fence, and it is very long. And I have it right here with this fence. And so I can open this door. And then the goats go in there, and then they can eat it. It's very easy for the goats to do that. We keep their food in the fence that cannot move. And then when my dad gets home, usually in this video, I am going to open that gate and we're going to move them in there. But when um, my dad gets home, usually we just put them in here and they have plenty of food to eat. So yeah, that's really cool. And I think it's great for goats. I got it. I'm going to actually put a link to the description where you can get this. Um, it is very good. Um, it's actually made for sheep, but it works for cows, goats, any livestock animal. It could even work for chickens if you have that many chickens. Probably not. Um, but, yeah. So, we're going to be going to our goats and opening that up. So, I'm going to talk a bit more about the... Um, fence so we have a red barn right here and this red barn is we actually don't use it yet but we're gonna get maybe a horse and we're gonna put that in there another thing about the portable fence if you just want to get a small one you could put maybe a cow in there that you're trying to like put a baby cow not a baby cow but like put a cow that you're gonna eat in the future and then you can eat it, and you can grow it in that fence. And it has plenty of food, and you can move it around when it needs more food. We are actually going to go a different way to get in this. Wait, well, there's not a other way. I just don't have a flashlight, and it's hard to get in here. So I'm going to use this, which actually seems to put light, because it's actually a lot darker in this place. But, oh gosh, I'm scared of snakes. My dad saw a raw snake in here the other day. Timber rattlesnake, 44 inches. Okay, what well, was about 44 inches? I don't know for sure. We let it go because it's illegal to kill them. Oh, I don't know about this. Hmm. I'm gonna try to open this gate. I've never opened this gate actually, to be quite honest with you. Did that do it? Oh, there's a chain. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. That should be it. Oh, it's low, dude. Perfect. That works good. I call this Cal because I just, that's his name. His name is Cal. We put these on there for, well, that'll be in another video. Well, I put PVC pipe on my goat's head. So this goat actually, goodness, bro. Stop fighting. Okay, so this goat right there. 
he actually doesn't have PVC pipe on him. We actually caught him Houdini because he's very good at escaping this fence. So, as you can see, they have, they had a lot of food in here and they just ate it all. Like, we have all these little sticks with no leaves on them because the goats eat them all. So, um, that's actually a pretty big problem and we're trying to fix that. So, what did we do? We looked up for a portable fence and when we got that portable fence, we put our goats in it. So, this is Cal. I'm actually going to try to get him. Okay. This is Cal. He's actually pretty well trained. Look at the camera. So yeah, I'm just holding him by this PVC pipe, and yeah, so, we have this one, this, see, this one won't let me get near him, the, the one I was showing you, Houdini, sometimes he lets me, him, but yeah, not a lot, they don't actually show me a lot, um, but yeah, holy crap, my dog scared me, okay, so we're actually going to open this. Then we're going to get the goats in here. It's actually not that hard. Goodness. Okay, this fence is hard to... It's hard to get this fence to stay. That's good. Okay. So I'm just going to get this stick. Break it. I actually don't like to do this a lot because this is food for the goats, but it's fine just to do it once. So this goat, right here, we're just gonna get this near him, these two, get them in there. So yeah, I'll put the camera down and you guys can see me do that. So let me put it right here where the goats are actually gonna be going. Let me see how that looks. Okay, that's good. Okay. So let's get these goats. So I'm gonna go around right here. You guys actually can't see me, but I'm gonna go around. So I'm gonna get these goats right in there. There they go. Right in there. Crap, I just put that in the electric fence. But yeah, so now we have these goats in there. And the good thing, another good thing about this fence is it is actually black, not black, but like it's white with black stripes. So that's really good. I think it's good. But yeah, you can go all down there. And so now I'm going to show you the battery. So now that we have the goats in there, we are going to leave this gate open. This gate right here so that whenever they want, they can come through. But yeah. So actually, I think what I'm going to start doing, tell me what you think of the comments about this. I think I'm going to start, I'm going to get a cow, a nice looking cow. I'm going to raise him myself. Without my dad's help, I'm going to raise him myself. I might have to go buy the food and stuff, but I'm going to feed him and do all that. And I'm going to try to sell the cow. And yeah, because one of my friends was telling me, he was like, I just sold a cow for $3,000. And I was like, goodness, at your age? And he was like, yeah, I did. And so I'm like, bruh. So actually, I'm going to try to do that. And yeah, so. Um, I'm going to try to push this. Okay, now we're in here. We're gonna make sure it closes back because we don't want the goats getting out. So. <sighs> Take this right here. Wait a second. Move that out. Bam, take this chain. This is actually unnecessary, this chain is, but why not? Bam. There we go. Just don't really come out, watch our step, make sure no snakes 
car anywhere. There we go. Close that gate. And bam. Um, I'm thinking about getting on my mule because it's actually pretty snaky, not going to lie. Um, I don't want to get attacked by a snake because there are a lot of timber rattlesnakes in this area. So I'm actually going to hold the camera out. Just so you guys can see what I'm going through. Um, so the good thing about another good thing about the portable fence. So right here needs to be eaten down, and the goats need food after they eat where they are. And they can just get right here and eat all this food. Move the fence down through there. So that is a good thing. Goodness, bro, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna keep walking. Just keep walking, just keep walking. Goodness, bro. So snaky. Okay. Dang, it's so pretty. Okay. I'm actually scared. Oh my. So far, I don't think there's any snakes. We have a long way to go. Not really a long way, but like a scary way to go. I would ride my bike down through here because it's actually not as scary on a bike. But then again, <laughs> rouse snakes will jump and bite you. So <laughs> don't want that to happen while you're riding on a bike. But so the battery on this is solar paneled, which is really good because you don't have to do anything to it. Just put it out in the sun. Um, the only problem you would have with that is putting it in a place where it gets sun. If you don't have a place like that, I wouldn't recommend this. But you can put the battery wherever you want. You just hook it on, actually. Yeah. 